Christina Prockey, um, 57 kilo silver medalist. Thank you so much for coming. Do you want to give an opening statement about your performance today? Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, after dealing with a back injury for so long, I was happy to perform the way I was and, you know, hit a pretty decent total considering how my training was going. I was pretty surprised, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, it looked like uh, just being in the warm-up room and then watching you come off after some of your openers, you were like, let's go. There's something here. How were you feeling? I mean, were you feeling really good? I was feeling very excited. It was earlier today I was feeling a little, a little. I wouldn't want to say down, but I was very concerned about how things were going to turn out just because of how prior weeks were feeling. But after the openers feeling the best my lifts have felt in weeks, I was very, very excited to see what we could actually put up. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, Chrissy, I've known you since 2017, Orlando, and I've seen you go through stuff, particularly with knee injuries and so forth. And um, I just want to say, uh, friend to friend, that you embody what it means to be a competitor and what it means to be a warrior. And you inspire me um, and other lifters out there to do better. Can you give us a little bit of details? You know, because we're used to kind of hearing about the knees, and this time it was a back. Can you tell us a little bit more about how that happened? Um, what exactly I, was going on? It was at, towards the end of the summer. I was doing my last drop-down set of deadlifts, and it was actually pretty lightweight. Um, and the last rep, I can't – I've watched the video like a million times. I don't even know exactly what went wrong, but I felt it, you know, lower lump, like back, left side, and – you know, I got it treated right away twice a week with my physical therapist because I've been seeing him ever since my first knee surgery two years ago, twice a week. And we were trying to, you know, get it, get it better any way we could, but I was doing feet up bench for about six to eight weeks because I just couldn't even get my feet down to, you know, get into the arch. And then as that kind of got a little bit better, it started to flip over to squats and deadlifts that even – you know, doing an unrack on squat with an empty bar, it was bothering me. So it's been a pretty frustrating process, but we were able to keep it at least at baseline so I could compete the way I did today. And just a follow up on that, how are your pre existing injuries? Everything good with the knees? Are you ready? Are you good to go after this once you get the back straight out? Uh, I have my good days and my bad days, but for the most part, they're pretty good. Yeah. Uh, drop the load and, you know, just re get this recuperated and see what happens. Give it a little bit of a break and then, you know, ramp stuff up again. Is your next goal to come back and win the national title next year? Yes, it is. Always is. Are you going to do 57 or are you thinking about do 63? Oh, 57. 57 for sure? Yep, definitely. You like to stay shredded? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's a great competitor, great lifter. I'm excited to see what she does on the world level. I guess I have one more follow-up question about the bench. I don't know if you could feel the audience on your third bench, but we were all pulling for you, and I think you, you locked it out, but they called you for your butt coming off. Yep. Do you think that that was a, a function of the back being kind of tweaked, or, or did you just kind of lose position? Or? Uh, my feet slipped a little bit as it was, you know, coming off my chest, and then – I also didn't feel like I could exactly get into my arch the way I usually do. And in training, I've been um, benching with blocks under my feet and decided today that it was probably better to control all the variables I could. So I decided to go feet down on the floor and that might've had a little bit to do with it, but I am proud to even lock that out at all because that would have been a pretty big PR for the day. So I'm happy with it either way. Um, deadlift, it was a little slower than I wanted, but deadlifts have been pretty tough the last few weeks anyways, and especially after bench, my back was feeling pretty crappy, to be honest with you guys, so for it to move the way it did, I'm still proud of, and 
even with my total, like it was, I think five kegs under my best. And the fact that I was, you know, not feeling great going into this to be that close to my PR total, I'm pretty proud of. I'm actually very happy with Phil Ate Day. It turned out. <laughs> Let you go.